Hi everyone, welcome back to Niblet Blog TV. Later this week, my daughter Sage and I are taking a little trip to visit some family in the States, which means not only my four month old's first plane trip, but her first trip overseas and my first trip traveling with a baby alone. So I thought it would be helpful to give you guys a little peek of what we have in our carry-on bag. I'm using one bag for the both of us as our carry-on on the plane and I'm just gonna get started and show you what we have packed. Okay, so this is the bag we're going to be taking with us. This is the Juju B BFF bag and it's brand new. Uh, this was actually a clearance print on here. I guess that they made some and they were slightly imperfect and decided just to sell them all off as clearance. So I got this for like 50% off. It's fantastic. I don't see any problems with it whatsoever. So if there is something imperfect, I don't see it. Uh, so if you like the print, go on Jujube right now. But this is a great bag. I chose it for this purpose because I really wanted a backpack style diaper bag for walking through the airport. I'm going to be carrying her in the Ergo for the most part through the airport. And I also have a large rolling duffel bag that I will be checking and a car seat that I'll be gate checking. So I have to at least carry her and the car seat and this bag through security through the airport uh, until we can rest before our flight. So I wanted something easy, something I could, that could make things hands free. And the cool thing about this bag is it's convertible. There's this handy hand strap up here on the top and then there's a shoulder strap as well. And I do plan on keeping all of the straps on the bag. Um, you can take the backpack straps off and you can take the shoulder strap off if you wanted to, but just for convenience sake, I'm gonna leave it all on. So I think what I'll do is I will start at the front uh, and go through all the outside pockets and then open the inside and show you what's inside. So the first thing I have over here is this little Jujube pacifier pod that matches the bag. It was like $4 with the bag, so I couldn't resist getting it. And it leaves pacifiers at easy access just in case. She doesn't love them, but she does use them if she's upset or sometimes for naps. I want her to be calm on the flight, so I thought a couple extra pacifiers couldn't hurt. In this top pocket up here, there's nothing in there right now. It's, it's empty, it's just a little black pocket, but I'm going to use this for her Wubbinub pacifier, which is her favorite. So if she's not using that while she's in the Ergo, uh, she'll have that when she's on the flight. So there are two outside pockets over here, and these are insulated with thin so They can keep things warm and cold for, I think it's a three hours, so that's really nice. Uh, on one side I just have my nursing cover because I do plan on nursing her on the plane. Uh, it's an udder covers cover I believe. And the other side I am going to put a bottle of pumped milk in there. Now I'm going to be there, I am going to feed her on the airplane, but I wanted to have it with me just in case. We are arriving in Boston and my family is in Rhode Island. It's about an hour and a half from Boston to get home, so just in case she gets really fussy in the car and we're in traffic or something. I want a bottle just in case, just to make things easier. Uh, so that's what's on the outside. And this pocket right here, I believe they call the mommy pocket, which is kind of cool. It's nice and organized for whatever you might need. So what I have in here, uh, I believe this is supposed to be a sunglass pocket, but I actually have my US cell phone in here. I have both a Canadian cell phone and a US cell phone because my US cell phone plan I've had since high school. It's the family plan with my family and it only costs about $10 a month. So I keep it, I have a very basic phone. So I keep this in here so I can just turn my phone on as soon as I get to the States and not rack up crazy charges using my Canadian iPhone. So I have that in there and I'll have that fully charged. I have a little granola bar for myself if I get hungry. I have a pack of Kleenex and these awesome Clean Well hand sanitizing wipes. They're all natural and it says kills 99.99% of germs naturally. They use essential oils to uh, disinfect. And I plan on using these uh, on my hands and all around the area when we get on the plane because you never know, I wanna keep things nice and sanitized. There's a little key hook right here where I'll put my house keys, but obviously those are not on there right now. And in this pocket, I also have the, like our quart size bag with any of this, the liquids that we'll need just for convenience sake, so I know right where it is to take it out for security. And I'll quickly go through this. And here I have another 
um, Beat Organics alcohol-free foaming hand sanitizer. This is natural and this is a nice one. So that's coming with us. I have my Burt's Bees Ultra Moisturizing Lip Treatment with Cocum Butter because the airplane can be very drying and so that will be good to keep my lips hydrated. I get stressed out while I'm traveling, so I love taking this Box Rescue Remedy. It's flower extracts. It's totally safe when you're breastfeeding. Of course, always ask your doctor first, but I do like to take this while I'm traveling to just calm me down a little bit. I've got a little natural nipple butter sample because you never know, and when you need it, you need it. <laughs> I have this little sample of Honest Healing Balm from The Honest Company. It's all natural, USDA organic, and it's just a nice little balm. If she has sort of a chapped area around her nose or her chin, she's drooling a lot because she's teething, so sometimes she gets a little chapped, and for her cradle cap as well. And then I have this awesome essential oil blend. It's called Frankincense First Aid. This is from Living Libations. It's one of my favorite companies. And this is in case I happen to get injured for some reason or another, which I hopefully don't. But uh, this isn't safe to use on babies, but you can use it undiluted on adults. And it's just a great kind of natural first aid item, just in case. And lastly, I probably have way too many of these, but these are Camellia Teething... Uh, pouches and these you just squirt them right in the baby's mouth they're homeopathic they're totally natural and they are good for teething babies in case she gets a little upset over her poor little teeth coming and that's all i have in this pocket i like to keep things pretty simple i didn't want to overpack but i did want to have everything that we might need when we are on our trip so this opens up like this and that's the inside there's a couple slots right here in the front for pictures but i found uh, none of my pictures actually fit in there. My pictures are four by six, and I don't know what size these are, but I'm just leaving them for now. Not necessary. This little front pocket right here, which I don't have anything in right now. I think I'm going to slip my wallet in there just to keep that nice and safe. And I have a couple toys for her. This is this cute little monkey teething toy that my mother-in-law gave her. Uh, it has a little plastic teether here. It rattles a little bit and has these little tags, which she loves. So that'll be a nice toy for her to have on the plane. I wanted to pack simply when it comes to toys. This is her favorite little cow. We're gonna bring this as well because it's her favorite and that will keep her entertained and distracted, hopefully. And I also have this book for her. It's Baby Babble. She loves this book. It's got not, lots of nice bright colors and it is a chew-proof, rip-proof, non-toxic, 100% washable book. And it's super thin. And flexible so it's great to travel with so I thought this book would be good to have with us and right on top here I have this really soft bamboo swaddle blanket that I figured I'd use for an extra layer if she gets a little bit cold on the airplane because airplanes can be cold the side pocket over here I just have a uh, just a plain Gerber prefold diaper uh, we don't use these for cloth diapering, but we use them as burp cloths, so I'll have one in here. I don't have anything else in the side pocket, but I'm considering putting another one in because she's so drooly right now. In the back here, I have a bib that's for drool, or if we happen to use the bottle of pumped milk on the side, I have my notebook back here because I always have a notebook on me for inspiration for my blog or my YouTube channel. In the back here, I have some nursing pads and a couple mama things in there that I might need by chance. And I have nothing on the other side. This bag is great. There's tons of pockets. I don't even need all of them. And right here, what I have is a mini diaper bag. So I open it up and it fits everything we would need for diapering. I have a little wet bag in here and inside the wet bag are just an extra change of clothes. So just a pair of pants and a onesie, just something that she can use really quick if she happens to have a crazy diaper blowout on the plane or in the airport and you don't have to worry about that and that fits right in the side here. And then uh, we like to use disposable diapers while we're traveling. So I have a few of the Honest diapers here. These are completely natural and she really likes them. They're nice and trim on her too. And completely unlike the cloth diapers we normally use, but we got these in a sample pack and we've tried a few, we like them, so we're gonna bring the rest with us on our trip just to make things easier. Uh, and then, and also uh, from the Honest Company is just a little pack of these all natural cloth wipes as well. 
And lastly, more hand sanitizer. I guess I don't think you can have enough hand sanitizer when you're traveling. And that is all for the main pocket. I'm gonna flip it around and show you the few things we have in the back. So if I move aside these backpack straps, there's this big pocket in the back. And what you might have noticed is there was not a changing pad in that little diaper pack because there is a great changing pad that comes with the bag. It's a memory foam changing pad. So it's really comfortable for their bums when they're being changed. So I decided to keep that in there because that's really nice. And then I'm also gonna slip my iPad in here just before we go. And I also have our travel wallet in here with our passports, her birth certificate, everything that we might need while we were tra while we were traveling. So that is what is in our carry-on bag, the Juju B BFF for our little five-day trip that we'll be going on later this week. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful to you if you're planning on traveling by plane with a young baby in the near future. And if you have traveled with a young baby on an airplane, and you think that we forgot something, we could use something else, or we packed way too much, let us know. I would love to hear your comments. Please check out my blog, www.nibletblog.com, and I'll see you in my next video.